Before you even reach for the echo probe, it's important to take some time to get prepared to increase the chances of a happy, cooperative child. In this MedMastery lesson, I'll describe how to best prepare the echo room and surroundings and share some age-specific strategies that might help to calm or distract the child. By using these techniques, you can make all the difference in winning a child's trust and completing a full echo study. First, consider whether the room is a comfortable environment for the child. Is it too cold, clinical and uninviting? If you intend to scan many paediatric patients, don't underestimate the power of converting one of the echo lab rooms into a more inviting and child-friendly space, for example, by putting up pictures and using bright colours or hanging mobiles. Are there ways to keep the child warm, such as using heated blankets or warm gel? Are there rolls for positioning and swaddles readily available? Do you have age-appropriate toys and books on hand? Are the lights dim and calming for when the child enters the room? All these factors can mean the world of difference to a child who is possibly anxious and unsure about being in a foreign environment. When you first meet the patient and family, it's important to greet and develop rapport with the child, not just the parents. Children like to feel in control. Help them to feel prepared by explaining the procedure in simple terms. For example, you might say you're going to take pictures of their heart with a special camera. If they're still unsure, take the probe and role play by scanning their favourite toy or their parent so they can visualise the procedure. It can be a scary experience for children, so allowing them time to warm up can really maximise their cooperation. It is, of course, necessary to consider the age of the child. This way, you can employ age-appropriate strategies to assist with positioning, calming and distracting. Babies under six months may respond well to the feed and wrap technique, where, after a feed, they are swaddled like this with their chest exposed. This provides comfort and warmth and keeps them still for a potentially lengthy scan. For infants under 12 months of age, sucrose or an equivalent sugar water solution may be used to stimulate sucking. This has been shown in studies to reduce pain and discomfort during procedures. Asking the parents what naturally calms their child can be also immensely helpful. For instance, maybe it's a pacifier, favourite toy or soothing music. In children older than six months, the art of distraction is key. Are there any age-appropriate toys handy? Distractions such as bubbles and musical toys, rattles or shakers can be very helpful in keeping the infant calm and engaged. In an older child, reading a book to them, watching television or showing photos or videos on a parent's phone can be a lifesaver. And of course, old-fashioned bribery with a reward such as stickers or special treat if they stay still might just work. My three-year-old patient here was happily distracted with TV and had a favourite teddy close by. These photos also illustrate how we use a pillow for positioning and a side guard for added safety. Keeping the parents engaged and sitting on the opposite side of the bed to the echo machine like this is ideal. It might be necessary for the infant or young child to lie in their parent's arms or allow the parent to lie beside them in bed. In this instance, the baby settled best in mum's arms while breastfeeding and the sonographer was able to complete a full study. Being flexible with your approach, adapting to the situation and giving the child time to warm up is helpful for success. Ultimately though, children respond differently and it's not helpful to coerce or persevere if the child does not want to be scanned. So if there's little success despite your best efforts, then it's okay to abandon the attempt and reschedule with a different approach, such as having a play therapist present at the next appointment or arranging a sedated echo. After all, we want the child and family to have a positive experience from their visit. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MedMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MedMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.